Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to collect emails with Google Sites. Once you are on sites.google.com, you are either going to select a website that you have created before, or you could tap on blank, or you can select one of the templates. Once you have done that and you have selected the website or you have created the website, the next thing that I want you to do is open another tab and you are going to go onto MailChimp.com. MailChimp.com is the platform that we are going to be integrating in our Google Sites to collect emails. And with MailChimp, you can get started for completely free. As you can see right here, with their free plan, you'll be able to create email campaigns and you'll also be able to use this for free forever. And you can send up to a thousand emails per month as you can see right here. Now all you'll need to do, once on MailChimp.com, you are going to tap on sign up in the top right hand corner and you are going to enter your name and email address. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And what I want you to do next is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap right where you see create. After you have tapped on create, you are going to go where you see sign up form from the left hand menu option, you are going to tap on sign up form. After you have done that, you have two options. You can either choose to create a pop-up or I will select an embedded form for this example. So I'm going to tap on embedded form, then I'm going to tap on begin. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. And at the moment, you can see how it looks. It basically looks like this, just basic, where you'll only be connect collecting the email address. But if you'd like to add more forms or if you'd like to customize it in any way, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on form fields. So let's say you'd like to also collect their first name. You could simply toggle this on. And also if you'd like to collect their address or phone number, you could do that. All you'll need to do is simply toggle it on. And if you would like to edit it even further, let's say for example, the first name you could tap right there. And you could type in something else if you want to collect something else. And you can also set it as a requirement. For example, you can see the email address as a small star beside it. So that means that they have to fill in the email address to continue. Once everything is to your liking, let's go back. You can also tap on settings. And from here, you could change the form title if you want. And also by scrolling down, if you would like to, for example, show format options, you could do that. But I'll leave it as is at the moment. Then you're going to tap on continue in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on continue, you will get this code. And all you'll need to do now is tap on copy code. Once you have copied the code, you're going to go back into Google Sites. Then all I want you to do is simply scroll down and you can select the section that you would like to add it to. So let's say, for example, I would like to add it right here. I'm going to tap on this section. Then I'm going to go over to the right hand menu option, tap on embed. Then you're going to tap on embed code and you're going to paste in the code that you have copied for MailChimp and you're going to tap on next. Once you have done that, you're going to tap on insert. And after you have tapped on insert, you will see a small box and there will be the sign up option. Just give it a few seconds to load up. Then you can simply pull along the box to adjust how it looks as you can see right here. Once it is to your liking, you can also move the position in by simply tapping and dragging it to wherever you want. But I'll leave it right here. All you'll need to do now is simply tap on publish in the top right hand corner and that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.